If it was up to me, it would have been done a long time ago, simple, one, two, three, and I, somebody would have been standing there and say, you know, do you take her? I would say, yeah. Do you take me? Yeah. All right, kiss, honeymoon, maybe another child, <laughs> and we <be> straight. <laughs> What's funny is I'm showing up for all these shoots and interviews, smiling in front of the camera, telling everyone how excited and happy I am about this live wedding, and I am happy. But there are just so many things to do. I'm stressed. And I don't think everyone is as stressed as I am, when they should be. Being the pretty bridezilla that I am, I had to make sure a couple things went down my way. Do you realize we have five weeks? What happened to my books? So you've spoken to the fabric people, you've spoken to the lighting. Did we already find the rental company? Did we get Chef Mike? Check, uh, check, more checks. Ayana is my very best friend from high school and she does all of my events. So I felt kind of awkward not letting her do my wedding. So I had to let her do my wedding and I'm confident that she can pull it off but when it's five weeks before my wedding we don't have a venue, I'm like, mm, Ayana. Then when it's four weeks before my wedding and everyone's like, Yandy, am I invited? Like my mother, my grandmother, cause they don't have invitations. I'm like, Ayana. I'm Ayana, and I am the planner. I really, really want to see Yandy and Mendeecees happy. That is the most important thing to me, and that is why I invest every bit of time and energy that I could possibly invest in this wedding. This is great because it does exactly what I need to be Cinderella. Like, think about how Cinderella is when she enters the ballroom with her prince standing there at the front, with her big, giant, poofy dress. You thinking about that? God damn, what are you talking about? The devil's in the details and I just don't think DC cares about any of it. My job is just to show up. Don't say that, because you don't really want to say so. You don't care. I do care, but just not the same details. So let me ask you a question, right? Loose crystals. So every table will have water sitting in this, what is this, a base? A vase, a vase, okay. Mm -hmm. Don't we have to do like the first dance or something? I just want to know the difference between a suit and a tuxedo. You can see my nipples. You cannot see any nipples. This is a church. Is these places rented or they bought? Church. We like drive around the block and come back, then come back to eat. But when did somebody tip the table? And then these they, are oh. really heavy. But you know they got wedding crashes, right? So there's gonna be an eight by eight foot hubba that's gonna be built hubba. there. What's a hubba? So we're your um, best How girl. How we get to 16? Best you, girl? Oh, what is it? That's not best girl. <laughs> no, best man, best girl. This is the first wedding I've ever been to. It's my own. So, you know, it's gonna be an experience that I never experienced before. what makes flowers such an issue for you? Like, we hear you talk about it. About the flowers? Okay. Uh, okay, number one is our baby shower. Yanni made me spend $3,500 on some flowers. So I was wondering what was going to be the price tag on the wedding. You don't think this is worth the 90000 that we're spending? Imagine this. Wait, Flowers 90, everywhere. $90,000 on what? Flowers. I was just wondering if I die, can she save these flowers and throw them in my casket? I don't understand. They have to be imported from Brazil. They don't have flowers in this <laughs> No. The flowers is nice, but it's, it's too expensive. We need to figure out a way <sighs> to cut this flower budget. I'm dead serious, but I, I love hear you. you. But I hear listen, you. please, work Honey. on these flowers. Okay, I got and it. Listen, and the other table. Why are you bugging? When it was time to go flower shopping, I made a mistake. I forgot about how much Mendeecee didn't want me to spend. Flowers are super important at my wedding. They really just set the tone and set the mood of my Cinderella princess theme. There's really no price that's too much when it comes to a flower budget for a wedding. This arrangement is essentially a mock-up of what Yandy is going to be getting for her wedding. Uh, an arrangement of this scale and size would easily cost about $1,000. And so imagine 20 or 30 of these on your table. It's pretty expensive, but totally worth it is look at the impact. I mean, who wouldn't want this on their wedding day? You sure you need that? Yeah, this is everything that I want at the wedding that I dreamed about. <clears throat> Baby folk. You know, with a wedding, these are memories that transcend beyond the years of your life. Your children will look at your wedding picture, their children's children will look at the wedding pictures. So I wanna have beautiful flowers that will set the tone, set the, the stage for just an amazing, beautiful day. So no, if I have to spend $50,000 on my flowers, I'm gonna spend $50,000 on my flowers. Just someone won't eat. Maybe his family. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think we need all that for a wedding. It has to be something cheaper. 
anything that has a dollar sign attached to it, Medici is gonna focus on. So if it's the flowers, if it's my shoes, if it's the dress, the two that I have, it's gonna be a problem for him. It's all about the money. But this day, How there you is no get two dress. There is no price tag on this day, and that's just what he has to understand. There's no price tag, and there should be no cost that you wouldn't pay to see me in all of my splendor on my wedding day. And that's just the way I feel about it. Honestly, I love my friends, and I don't mean to be stressful. I don't mean to give them extra added pressure, but really, if it causes too much stress or it takes anyone out of their comfort zone, I don't want them to do it. I mean, but they have to be there at everything with the dress on.